Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the addition elimination mechanism of nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Uh, some folks will call this the SNAR mechanism for substitution nucleophilic aromatic. Uh, I don't actually like that designation SNAR mechanism. It's fun to say, but I view nucleophilic aromatic substitution as a class of reactions of which there are several different mechanisms and not the name for a specific reaction. In the introductory video to nucleophilic aromatic substitution, I uh, shared that this nucleophilic substitution reaction works, but it requires extremely elevated temperatures. Okay. Now I want to share with you that a variation of this reaction works at lower temperatures when there's an electron withdrawing group at the ortho or para position. I actually want to write this down here, electron withdrawing group at ortho or para to leaving group. Activates this reaction. Okay. And a, a pretty potent you know, demonstration of that or a pretty good uh, piece of information that the ortho position, the para position are special is that when that meta group, is, meta, or when that electron withdrawing group is meta, there's no observed reaction. So uh, what is going on in this particular case? There's something about the mechanism. For, so first let's share the mechanism of that top reaction. Uh, the first step is nucleophilic attack of the hydroxide at the spot where the leaving group is. Uh, unlike other nucleophilic substitution reactions you may have studied, this reaction has nucleophilic attack happening. Leaving group is a later deal. Our loss of leaving group is a later deal. Forms this uh, Cat, uh, carb anionic intermediate that some people will call a Meisenheimer complex. Uh, I'm just going to call it a carb anion. And then that carb anion undergoes a uh, loss of leaving group to reform the aromatic rings. This is actually a little bit similar to electrophilic aromatic substitution. Nucleophile attacks, ionic intermediate, uh, other group is removed, loss of leaving group. It's also worth noting that the initial product of this reaction isn't actually phenol or isn't the phenol uh, directly because phenol is, is acidic and hydroxide is basic. And so phenol is deprotonated. I have a double headed arrow there, hold on. Phenol is deprotonated to make the phenoxide and it's the phenoxide that occurs uh, prior to aqueous workup. So here's our mechanism, but this mechanism doesn't immediately share what's special about the ortho and para positions. Uh, I'm going to take this Meisenheimer complex, this carbanionic intermediate, and draw out all of its resonance structures. And so here we have the resonance structures for this intermediate drawn around the ring. And you can see that when the nucleophile attacks, you generate a negative charge ortho to the leaving group, para to the leaving group, ortho to the leaving group. And this is important uh, where this negative charge ends up. And you'll notice that this negative charge ortho para, para ortho pattern is exactly the charge pattern on electrophilic aromatic substitution, except electrophilic aromatic substitution is cations, but it's ortho para ortho to where the reaction happens. Now it's this middle resonance contributor that's got something special because now you can have an additional resonance contribution from the nitro group itself, since the nitro group is electron withdrawing. And so the carb anion here is stabilized. And it's stabilized by the electron withdrawing group in the para position. If the electron withdrawing group was in the ortho position, it would stabilize it. 
But when that electron withdrawing group is in meta, you'll notice the ne negative charge never gets to meta and it doesn't stabilize the electron withdrawing group. So here's, so this video uh, summarizes the, the addition elimination or, or so-called SNAR mechanism, and it requires an electron withdrawing group ortho or para. When there's not an electron withdrawing group ortho or para, the reaction is slower, requires much higher temperature, and in the next video, we're going to explore uh, that it requires, um, or that it has unexpected regiochemical outcomes. Right? This variation puts the nucleophile where the leaving group is, which uh, is useful and, and, and helpful. Thank you for watching.